Update 66. Went essentially camping for one night with, with some of my friends, and I wanted to see if Miles in my book could successfully sleep with only the clothes that he was wearing, which was like a jacket, like a snow jacket, and and pants and boots. So that, that's pretty much what I did. I wore a sweater and a poncho and a pair of jeans and a pair of sweatpants. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. It was so cold that I could not sleep. I wasn't like freezing or shivering. It was j just uncomfortable enough that I could not uh, fall asleep. What I did really was I just grabbed my backpack and put that under my head as a pillow, which is all Miles had. He just had a backpack and, and the clothes on his back. Laid down on rock. It, it was just straight up rock. For the first part of the night, I was actually able to doze for maybe like an hour. After that, it, it got too cold. I did bring a hammock with me as well, just to see if I could get any sleep in a hammock. I didn't, it was too cold. But what I did figure out were a couple of tricks on how to stay incrementally warmer when you're out in the wilderness. Uh, one of them was tuck your shirt in. That will seal in a lot more heat than you might think it will. And the other thing is, uh, if you're flexible enough, jam your knees inside of your sweater or coat and ball up literally just into like the most fetal position you possibly can and that also will preserve a lot of heat it might make your legs fall asleep but those are some things that i'm going to add to my book i wouldn't recommend anybody sleep out in the wilderness without taking a lot of precautions and a bunch of friends so that was a curious experiment i have uh, quite a bit of rewriting to do for book two something that i was thinking about there's this phrase that I kept turning over in my mind that goes, keep forcing creativity back onto yourself. It didn't say keep forcing creativity, but it does say keep forcing creativity upon itself. Lock creativity in a room with you. You don't have to interact with it, but you're more inclined to. Let me read this. Creativity can be forced back onto itself. Creativity, like love, is not passion, though passion is part of it. Passion is the spark that gets it started. Creativity, like love, is something that you work at. You should not mistake in passion for love. You shouldn't be confused about passion being love. If I had, I would have stopped writing a long time ago. A lot of the days that I spent writing, I didn't want to write, but I forced myself to write a few thousand words a day. And in turn, since I worked at it, I kept digging back different layers of love that I had for this craft. It's something that I'm doing purely for the heck of it. It doesn't really have a goal. It's just fun to do. Previously we were at 65,000. Now we're at 67,000. 2,000 more to add over here. Pancakes are nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are two pancakes away from the top of the stack. Cooking with Atlas, coming soon. Still at 59, 50, actually, no, we got an extra subscriber. We got 56, we got 56 subscribers now. Isn't that great? Thank you, number 56. I'm gonna make a tiny mark here just to know that you were noticed. This has been update 66.